People call the game because you get a piece of a jersey? Then give 100% effort and get in your hands inside. Time Miller, to the crib, to the crib, on me, to the crib, on three, one, two, three, to the crib! Oh, let's go! This is it! Your chance! Take it! Hi, everybody, and welcome to another 45 minutes of football excitement. <laughs> Can't believe we're almost halfway through the season. This is week four. I'm Steve Schneider. He's Jacques Doucet. Lots of storylines to get to. Sid Edwards has coached at many different places. He's had success at many different places. He couldn't make a shroom of 4-0, right? The school was <laughs> closed just that not long ago, but they are making a big comeback. And tonight, they were playing host to Plaquemine, and there is Coach Sid, his team-led Eight to six at halftime, but here comes Plaquemine. Nicholas Victorian rolls out of the pocket, finds his man Aiden Joseph for the nice gain as the Green Devils were marching here. And then it is Tyrese Mosby who squirts out of the pile into the end zone for the touchdown. Plaquemine would go for two. Victorian passes to Jacoby McCoy, and Plaquemine gets the two point conversion and they lead 14 to eight. But here comes a Struma. Watch Lemoyne Brady. He's under pressure, and somehow he rolls out of the pocket and is able to muscle this pass all the way across the field to Michael Dempsey for the touchdown. The Indians lead 15 to 14 at that point. But here comes Plackerman. Lots of penalties in this game, including this one. Mosby has his helmet ripped off, which I think was a break. <laughs> For a Struma because they had to blow the play dead. Yes. I think he might have scored. Yes. And Victorian, who liked our comment, Valor Victorian. So he's now Valor Victorian and <laughs> straight A's on that performance tonight as Plaquemine is able to come back and they force a late turnover here as a Struma thought they had a chance to drive and perhaps win the game. It is 20 to 15, the final score as Plaquemine gets it done. They improved to three and one overall, three and zero in district play. A classic battle on Thursday night between Ascension Catholic at home against Dunham. Bulldogs and Tigers, Bulldogs at home up 12 to seven. We pick it up first drive of the second half. This is Chad Elsey Jr., the top score maker in our area through the first three weeks. And there's another one, the touchdown putting his team on the board again. But back comes Dunham, trailing 20 to seven. Their freshman quarterback, Elijah Haven, to Jack Como, his second touchdown of the game, caught that one in stride, cuts the lead to 20 to 15. The Tigers defense forces a turnover. They get down to the goal line. It's Haven keeping it for the touchdown. Dunham goes in front, 22 to 20 is your score. First lead of the game. Still in the third quarter. Dunham's offense looking for more. Haven rolls right, throws deep. Guess who's there? Como, the trifecta, another touchdown. Dunham is up 29 to 20, but don't count out the dogs. They will be coming back as their quarterback, Jake Landry, leads them down the field, looks for a receiver, beats a man and stretches out at the goal line. Folks, that's a touchdown as he sticks the nose of that football across the goal line. The defense gets a stop. 30 seconds to go, a chance for the winner, but no, it's overthrown and intercepted. <laughs> Bronson Bonneval with the interception for the Tigers. That's a touchback, that's your ball game. 29 to 28, Dunham with a thriller. Over a century. The Catholic. games Dunham's played already, right? This one, the one against Parkview. <laughs> They're epic. <laughs> wow. Great TV indeed. All right, stay right there. Interesting matchup coming up. Kentwood and Walker, Zachary and McKinley as well. <laughs> 